All right. So I'm going to cover the difference between a policy loan, a withdrawal, and a partial surrender in a uh, in as it has to do with your life insurance exam. I've helped thousands of people pass their life and health insurance exams on the first try, and hopefully I can help you uh, pass as well. So a life insurance policy loan is when the insured takes a loan against the cash value of the policy. So the policy has a value in equity per se. It's kind of what it is. It's like an equity. It's a, it's a cash value. And the insurance company lets the insured take a loan against the policy. So the life insurance company says, well, your policy is worth X amount of money. You can take out a loan against that value. So that value, that, that loan, there's no credit check required, but it does accumulate interest. So the insured just has to be careful that the interest accumulation does not make the total due balance more than the total cash value, in which case the policy would be subject uh, to potentially lapsing. <clears throat> so there's also flexible repayment. Repayment schedules are flexible, but unpaid loans do accrue interest. And if the, if the insured dies and the uh, loan and the accumulated interest is not repaid, the, that amount, outstanding amount, is, re, is subtracted from the death benefit when it's paid out. So a policy loan is just taking a loan against something. Now, a, um, a withdrawal and a, a partial, a, a surrender, uh, a withdrawal or partial surrender, okay? Um, they, they're used interchangeable. They usually mean like the same thing. This means when there's actually some cash, there's actually uh, some cash value is permanently taken out of the policy. So with a policy loan, the, everything else remains the same because the it's just collateral. Withdrawals and partial surrenders, the uh, the cash value is actually taken out permanently with no intention of paying it back. So that's more common on like universal life policies than whole life policies. Um, there are usually some charges associated with surrendering, especially if the policy has only been enforced for a short amount of time. So you just have to be careful of uh, the fees and charges that come into play there. And withdrawals up to the amount of the premium paid are the premiums paid in so far are not taxable. So if the insured has paid in a thousand dollars into their policy, they can withdraw cash value up to $1,000 without them being taxed. But anything in excess of that $1,000 of the amount they paid in would be considered a taxable event and it would be taxed as ordinary income. Um, so real quick back to cash value, I mean the policy loan, there is something called an automatic premium loan. I have another video on that, but essentially what that does is it, excuse me, it, um, it allows a loan to be taken to get out against the cash value of the policy if the policy is in danger of laps lapsing due to non-payment of premium so say the insured um, misses their premium and it's 100 bucks a month and there is over 100 dollars in cash value um, if the the grace period passes and they still haven't made the payment instead of the policy lapsing the premium will come out as a loan against the cash value so that the policy doesn't lapse so I hope that helps you guys. And I hope this helps you pass your life and health insurance exam. Check out my other videos. Shoot me an email if you have any questions or you'd like a free study guide. You see it right there in the video. Thank you.